Hey, what's on the guys? My name is Brad. Go back to the channel. Go back to the Duel Links video. Go back to another Duel Links leak video. Today, we're going to be talking about leaks. No shit there. Like, what else are we doing on this channel apart from, you know, talk about stuff? But a uh, big thank you to Yazan, as always, for data mining this stuff. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about in the video, though, uh, because there's quite a lot, so I don't know exactly what's going into this video. We'll have to see in the editing process. But without further ado, let's get into the leaks and see what we've got coming up in Duel Links, because it should be pretty fun. So over on the Japanese Twitter, Konami actually announced a campaign where you could go into stores and obtain a special pack by actually dueling against a real person in the store. This is one of the, I don't know exactly the wording they used, but this special pack is only available in Japan as of we know right now and contains some reprints of like uh, pretty key cards. They're pretty easy to get cards to be fair. They're all like legendary duels drops or cards you can get from ranked duels tickets. So it's nothing too over the top insane but there's some alternate art cards now i think flame swordsman has an alternate art and there is one new card in there and that new card is sonic chick as an sr so as of right now we don't know when we're going to be getting this like outside of japan so japan might have an exclusive over us in an actual technically method defining thing it's kind of now getting that split like the tc you know, she is uh, in terms of them having exclusive cards and us not having those cards but Sonic Chick is not really anything to, you know, you don't even need to be worried, I think. Level 1 Earth, 300 Attack, 300 Defense, Winged Beast, cannot destroy a battle with a monster that's 1900 or more attack. It's not bad. You know, like, if you're going against Dinos, then of course Sonic Chick is going to be pretty good, uh, because most Dinos will have over 1900 attack. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you're going against Heroes, it's a little bit less likely, because obviously they'll start off with a uh, Decider or with Drill Dark, and they'll be able to get over Sonic Chick pretty easily. Uh, anything else, I'm not too sure of because I don't know what stat everything of every other deck is. Blue Eyes, obviously, this will be very good against, unless they decide to attack into it with one of their uh, tuners or something. But Sonic Chick, not too bad of a card. Um, not, not meta relevant or anything, I don't think. But, you know, a fun Yusei card that I think everyone was kind of uh, confused on as to why it missed out from the launch and wasn't included in Yusei's level ups. So, pretty cool. Then we have Convert Contact, one of Jaden's cards. If you control no monsters, send two Neospatial monsters, one from Had and one from your deck, to the graveyard, then draw two cards. Now, that's just pretty good in general, because controlling no monsters is pretty easy to do. You just use it at the start of your turn, and you get a plus two draw, plus sending two Neospatial into the graveyard, and then if you have any cards that interact with the graveyard to fusion summon or something, you could potentially use uh, those in there, or any cards to recycle. New Spaceships from the Graveyard, I'm pretty sure we, obviously we had the Jaden event, didn't we? we had Spunky Jaden, uh, so I think he might have brought some cards that can use Neo Spaceships in the Graveyard, so Convert Contact would be a nice addition to a Neo Spaceship deck, whenever we do decide to get it, we don't know when we're going to get this stuff, um, this is linked in with Sonic Chick, as in like, they will group together, as Yasin usually does, he groups cards together as of when they're going to be obtainable, and right now, Sonic Chick and uh, Convert Contact are grouped together, so maybe over in the West, we'll have a nice event uh, to get it or they'll give it to us for free or something like they did with the uh, login bonus so for uh, using Yahoo in Japan I think Yahoo Games uh, the, the version over there uh, we actually got that as a login bonus for the Steam release so pretty similar uh, but uh, hopefully there'll be a, a nice way for us to get those cards uh, in the near future. Next up we have two UR cards that are both pretty good so first of all we have from the previous leak video Doom Caliber Knight you know, you would have seen this before I talked about this. I was pretty hyped about this coming. I thought this was going to be in the uh, Monster World RPG event. It's like a UR unlock, but it wasn't, unfortunately. It fit the tone really well. It would have fit quite nicely. But uh, apparently the Konami decided not to. Makes sense. It would be better as a, uh, a a login event card or as a box card or as a, like a selection box card, maybe. Hopefully not. But uh, don't really talk about it anymore. It's pretty decent. I know some people have said it's not good anymore, but I still quite like the card. And then we have Avenging Knight Parshath, a level 8 light attribute synchro. Probably the one of the better ones we have, to be fair. One tuner plus one more non tuner light monsters, so works very well with the fact we have the DD Tower light dimension event right now. That could be a kind of nice little segue into giving this card out at some point. 2600 attack, 2100 defense. Once per turn, you could target one face up monster your opponent controls, change that target's battle position to defense position. And this monster does piercing damage. I think that's pretty good. I think this could be a ranked duels UR. I don't think it screams box paid box UR, but I think it screams ranked duels UR ticket very nicely. 
So if that's the case for this car, that's going to be really interesting because I am looking forward to trying this guy out. Like, any card right now that can enhance the battle phase of your turn as a synchro, I think is going to work very well. Obviously, you have Armadius that can't be affected by the, uh, the, the your back your opponent's back row, and so uh, having Knight Parsha have to come out and just be a nice big wall that can, or a nice big beats that can just go in on the opponent's wall is really nice. Now, all these cards are bugged together. Uh, as I said, Yazan does like to bolt cards together that are in release order, and these all could be coming in a new structure deck EX. And the reason for that is because with these cards, it says compatible with the skill Silent Duelist. So the skill Silent Duelist is the one, of course, that lets you play a Silent Magician level 4 from your deck, which is really weird because this deck, from the cards we know, doesn't have anything to do with Silent Magicians. We have Silent Swordsman, though. The original... The OG, the new retrained Silent Swordsman level 4, 1000, 1000. This guy is busted. Criminal Summoner set must be special summoned from your hand by attributing one word attack monster. It cannot be the special summoned by other way, so it's pretty much Silent Magician, the new version. Once per turn during the standby phase, this card gains 500 attack. Once per turn during either player's turn, this spell card is activated. You can negate the activation. If this card is drawn by battle, or if this card is only controlled to by an opponent's card effect, special one Silent Swordsman monster from the hand or deck except itself, ignoring summoning conditions. So that means. You can go out for the big Silent Magician level 7, I think it is. Um, Silent Swordsman, sorry, level 7. So it is very similar to that Silent, uh, to Silent Magician. We have a Dueling right now that is comboed very heavily with Spellbooks. And so this, I don't know what deck you kind of combo in with. Okay, so I'm here as a voiceover to say that I'm an idiot because I forgot that Silent Sword Slash was a thing. And uh, yeah, that the new Silent Swordsman gets pretty busted when you combine it with this card, so that's where you'll use it in a straight Silent Swordsman OTK deck. So it's going to get worse than it already is, guys. But that could mean that some point down the line, we get Silent Paladin, which works very well with both Swordsman and Magician, which would be really nice if we got that, but that's not in the data mines, that's not in the leaks right now. The next card we have is Elements of Heroes Solid Soldier. So you remember from my Megatin video, I think it was, I did a, a, a list of video covering what cards I think could come to Duel Links, and Solid Soldier seems to be the first one we're getting. Level 4, uh, 1300 attacks, 1100 defense. But it's cards normal summon, you can special one level 4, a lower hero monster from your hand, so that's any hero, Destiny hero, um, Elemental hero, Evil hero if we ever get them. Pretty good. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell effect, you could tuck a hero in your graveyard, except itself, special summon it in defense position. You could only use this effect once per turn, and because of that, that means that this card can be affected by mask change if you want to go into things like Dian, I think it is. Obviously, we don't have Dian yet, but if we did get Dian, then that would be a perfect kind of opportunity for this. Obviously, polymerization as well would work on this guy to get another monster out to your field. So again, just extending those hero deck plays even further and giving you a nice way to get out monsters in your hand that you wouldn't otherwise so solid soldier is really good like straight up it, it's one of the best hero support cards we've had in a long time in the tcg so if it comes to dual links be pretty afraid then we have trust guardian we talked about this before level three fairy juna uh has to be used for level seven or higher synchro monster uh, it's okay i thought it was pretty good back then but i think right now it's it's okay. It's nothing special. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty cool. So, pretty cool cards. Again, they could all be coming in the structure deck. They could all not be coming in the structure deck. They could be all just, like, within the same, like, period of time they're going to be released. But then the game files, those three cards specifically, are linked together. So, uh, look forward to those. We also have those game mats and sleeves that we actually talked about a couple of weeks ago. They are finally in the game. We have the Dark Magician and Dark Magician Gold Matt and Sleeves, which I'll show you on the screen right now. We also have some images of the Elemental Hero Neo Sleeves. It has some of the, I think the artwork for Nex on it, and maybe has uh, Divine Neos on it. We don't exactly know um, the full images of that. I don't have full images of those, unfortunately. This is going to be available in a winter sale on 21st of December, so not too long to wait for those. Additionally, there's going to be a sale on some packs, and... This is really interesting because we're actually, according to Yazan at least, these are all titled under Selection Box. So, we could be getting 
the selection boxes return, or a new selection box, I think it could probably be the selection boxes returning, uh, a mini and the main, and we're going to be getting bundles of items with game mat and sleeves for Super Rush Headlong and Mirror Wall, and we're also going to be getting a beginner's pack, which has a bundle of 10 packs of whatever it is, plus one Karibo and Vagrants. Now, if this was Sphere Karibo, that'd be pretty busted. It would be a really good way for new players to jump into the game and be able to have one of the best tech cards we've seen in Duel Link's history, which they're now bringing to the TCG in the TCG Speed Duels very early on in its lifespan. So, just have to wait and see for the 21st of December to see exactly what Konami decided to do for this winter sale. But it would make sense that these selection boxes would be returning around that time, given that we didn't see them with the KC Cup, and it's been a few months since we've actually seen them last. So that's going to be me done for Duel Links Leaks for today. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then. Yeah.